Good morning everyone. Well, wow, welcome to Paddy Beach. Wow, it's freezing cold this morning. It's probably about, well, I think it was 7, and I checked it was like 44 Fahrenheit, something like that. Anyway, gee, it's cold. I've come to Paddy Beach, and there's a national park here called, I think it's called Bodie, or Bowdy National Park. Um, it's about where I am, it's about a kilometre walk or so. Anyway, I'm going to walk up there, and um, there's a beautiful cliff face. So I'm going to check out the cliff face and have a look and um, do a painting. So um, let's uh, get up there. Look at this beautiful beach behind me. I'll just spin you guys around. So this is um, this is Putty Beach. Down the down the end there, that's Kilcare, and then it goes on. And then if you look way out there, that's uh, Sydney. That's um. Avalon and Palm Beach, Palm Beach and Avalon and all that way over there. So anyway, let's uh, keep heading up this way. So basically, th this beach, it's two beaches in one. So down that end is uh, Kilcare Beach. And then when you walk this way, it turns into the National Park and it's Putty Beach. So yeah, let's get up into the National Park and um, check it out and do a painting. I'm a bit warmer now <laughs> after walking a few hundred meters. Oh, me, me can't, no, uh, me can't. <laughs> me hands are cold, but the rest of my body's warm. Oh, my ears are cold. <laughs> but anyway, I'm about to get a bit more warmer. I've got to get up these stairs. So let's uh, get up here. So. I thought there was a real cocky then. There's a black cocker too. A statue of one. So yeah, basically you got Bowdy Coastal Walk. It's a beautiful walk. Bullymar Beach, little little secluded beach. Then Maitland Bay, we've been there before. Then it goes on. It's about 6k walk to 6k walk to Little Beach. I've been there. I've been all these places before. Um, it's only up the coast where my mate Michael took me. The other week I've haven't explored, but around my area I've uh, checked out a lot of things. Just flip you guys around. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, I hope you're all going well. I'm doing good. Pretty busy with work and all that sort of thing, but um, yeah, I got the got the hunger, the pain again, and it happens like that. You get a bit flat, lose motivation, but it comes back because. Us artists, we just love it. It's in our hearts, you know. You just love it. You, you can't never give it up, you know. Anyway, have a look at this. Just spin you guys around on my finger. Oh, look at that. How's that for a bit? Could paint this if I wasn't blocking the stairway. But yeah, that's beautiful. I'll tell you, um, I don't think there'll be many walkers but up here, but you never know. See those houses up there? If you were to live in one of them, it costs you about five million or four or five million Australian dollars. Ain't that crazy? It's a wealthy area around here. Anyway, let's continue on the walk. I'll just get you guys to the top here. So yeah, um, as I said, I've been busy with work and all that kind of thing. So uh, as I said, been busy with work and all that kind of thing. But I've I've got like this year, I've got some art goals. I want to enter a couple of um, art competitions. 
There's one coming up, Hawkesbury Art Prize. I want to enter that. There's another one that's a um, it's around this area. It's called Art in the Open. It's part of this national park. The exhibition's got to do with this. They call it the Five Lands. Anyway, it's a plain air art competition, and um, I've entered that, and I will let you guys know if I get in or not, because they're only going to take 30 artists to do it. So fingers crossed I get into that because I want to show you guys my experience with that. Anyway, have a look at this. So wow, there you go. So basically all this is National Park. Ain't that beautiful? I have been here before, as I said, with another video. I painted from that little beach down there. But um, let's just have a look, see, see if we can get any bit of a view looking back. That wind's picked up a bit too. Oh wow, that's beautiful. Okay, let's soldier on. Basically, I'm gonna follow that walkway over there. And uh, it's all in shade at the moment, which <laughs> I want it to be lit up in sun. The sun's gone over the other side. I actually thought the sun would be shining on that, that those cliffs, but um, sun's already gone over so but the sun will go up a bit because it's only like eight o'clock in the morning or something um sun will go up and i'll get some light anyway it'd be good to work on shadows and that as well so if i can create a bit of shadow and light in a painting um that would be really good Okay, so this is where the, the walkway starts. Basically, I'm going to paint down at the bottom of this walkway. Looking back, you get a good view of the coastline. Well, that, that's what I was planning on painting. So, um, we'll check that out. If not, we can go to that little beach down there and uh, paint looking back from the, ed the end of the beach, which I have done it before. As I said, way back, <laughs> maybe like three, four years ago. So anyway, we'll check this out and have a look. Oh, if a bit of sunlight came on that coast, that, that cliff there, halfway along, that'd be a beautiful, beautiful to paint. Okay, tell me if you can guess what this plant is, this flower. Okay, well, pretty sure they nickname them the candlestick. But it's a, it's a coastal banksia. So that's a coastal banksia. So it's a native to Australia. And then over here, this little bush here with the white flowers, that's a coastal rosemary, which is, um, yeah, it's a indigenous um, or Australian native rosemary. So you could probably chuck that in, in your lamb meals. Wow, look at that coast. It's looking beautiful. Oh, I love it. Wow, look at that. Oh, this is going to be good. I'm really excited to paint today. Really excited. So um, let's hope I get a good painting. I'll just take my time. I've got one of those landscape boards like last week's one. So yeah, really excited. Going to get a good painting today. So just take my time and don't freeze. <laughs> So yeah, let's continue on and get down there. Okay, so I've, I've came to the spot, but I'm freezing cold, so give me a minute to uh, get set up. Okay, so I've got my spot everyone. Oof, I tell you, my hands are cold. <laughs> anyway, I've got my spot in the shady, so it's probably about five degrees now, I guess. But anyway, that's what I'm going to have a go at. I'm going to have a go at like this, this cliffside here in the, in the shadow. 
and then you've got it goes off into the light and then you've got some distance out there so that's what I'm that's what I'm aiming at today so um, I've got everything set up over here so if you have a look I'll just show you guys like where I am so basically I'll just get over here without falling over basically there's there's my setup there so th this walk comes along and goes around the corner there and continues on for a few k's but um what I'm going to paint is uh, it, that view from here. Okay, so I'm using an um, aluminium composite board, Gesso 3 coats. Um, the last coat, I've mixed a bit of acrylic um, yellow ochre into it. Um, I've got pure gum terps, which is in here. I use it. I got it from, I got that idea from an artist called Warwick Fuller, one of Australia's best landscape artists. And for 20 years I've been using it. That's the only medium I use apart from oil paint. I just use that. That helps thin the paint when I want to use it. Don't really have to use it on a day like today. I just got a tiny bit for my wash because I, you know, take a little bit to dry. But that's some pretty much just use oil paint. So I've got um, I've got the Viridian. I've got a yellow ochre, a little bit of Lizarin. I've got Scarlet Lake. I've got a uh, burnt sienna. I've got um. Cobalt teal, that nice light coloured blue one next to that is cobalt blue. I've got sapphire in the middle and a bit of burnt uh, ultramarine blue and uh, titanium white. So I've got some cool colours, some warm colours, got me bored. So yeah, I'm going to have a go at this and uh, wish me luck. <laughs> and uh, hopefully, let's get a good painting. Hope that wind isn't too bad. It's a bit protected, but you get the odd gusts coming through. So Try and work quick, one hour, get it done, get out of it. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, see how I go, eh? Let's paint. Okay, so. I've got my wash in place, so basically I've, I've, I've sketched up what I want, I've got my headland there, and then you're looking out, looking out to the distance, which what you can see, looking at like that. Um, I've mixed up a sky colour here, so yeah, I'm going to start the sky, do the headland distance and all that over there, which is way over all there, and then I'm going to work my way back uh, to the headland there. So yeah, let's get this painting done. With the sky, I mixed uh, cobalt, blue, a little bit of alizarin, a little bit of yellow ochre, and titanium white. I'm going to make it lighter as it comes down. Mixed up a uh, with a bit of the sky colour, a bit of burnt sienna, viridian, yellow ochre, and ultramarine blue for my headland, distant headland, made it a bit mauvey, and uh, to create that distance using the palette knife now. And I actually will put some. Um, sandstone highlights on top of this a bit later.
doing the ocean now. I mixed up a sapphire, cobalt blue, ultramarine blue, my sky colour, a bit of burnt sienna, and I've come up with this, this uh, colour here. It looks close enough for the ocean. Nearly done now, I'm just getting the whitewash in. Bit of whitewash. Key is not to overdo this. Got to find a balance, you know, with the whitewash. Okay, I've done the painting here at the beautiful Bowdy National Park. If the spelling's wrong, correct me. <laughs> Bowdy or Bodhi. Anyway, there's the painting. Tell me what you think. I could have done a lot more detail there, but it was all in shadow when I started. And I wanted to sort of keep it like that. But now it looks beautiful. We could start another painting now. It's looking really beautiful. So anyway, there's the painting. I hope you can see it okay. I really enjoyed it. It was great, and I think I um I got the I got the theme of the painting. What I'll do is I'll just pop it in the shade. Let you guys have a look in the shade. Yeah, there we go. There's another look of it in the shade. Try to get a bit of shadow in that water. Yeah, so I really enjoyed coming here today, and um hope you guys liked it. And anyway, thanks for coming along. And I'll catch you in the next one soon. See ya.